Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today's topic of our discussion is life cycle of slime molds in 5 minutes. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Slime molds are a strange group of organisms. They are fungus-like protists. We have divided the life cycle into different steps for better understanding. Step 1 large multinucleate cell which is called as the plasmodium as you can see many nucleus in a common protoplasm can be called as a super cell that that is deployed that moves around that decayed wood leaves etc engulfing food particles including bacteria this is the young feeding plasmodium that moves around and engulfing food particles step 2 at maturity Plasmodium has a net-like appearance. When there is food shortage, it starts producing fruiting bodies. So this is the net-like appearance of mature plasmodium. Step 3. It is a formation of sporangia. From the thallus, certain structures arise which is having a stalk and a head which is called as a sporangium. Many nucleus moves to the head region. So this is a sporangium. It is having a head and a stalk. Many sporangia are produced just like fungus. So each sporangia is having a long stalk and a head. In step 4, the diploid nucleus inside the sporangium undergoes meiosis forming haploid spores. So these are the haploid spores. These spores are thick walled, highly resistant spores that can withstand unfavorable conditions, remain dormant for a long time waiting for the favorable conditions to return. On return of favorable conditions, this spores germinates, either forming swarm cells, these are swarm cells, flagellated cells, or forming amoeboid cells. Swarm cells are often produced during when there is enough moisture. In dry condition, amoeboid cells are formed. Step 6. These swarm cells or amoeboid cells they fuse in pairs, just behaves as gametes and to form the zygote. In step 7, zygote formation, the swarm cells or amoeboid cells that join in pairs undergoes plasmogamy and karyogamy, finally forming the zygote, the diploid nucleus again. It undergoes mitosis to form a multinucleate plasmodium, thus completing the life cycle. Let me summarize once again. First, there is a feeding plasmodium that moves around and feeds, engulfs food particles, including bacteria. Then, at maturity, this forms a network-like structure. This is the beginning of formation of fruiting bodies. When there is a food shortage, food scarcity, this starts producing sporangium. Sporangium are spore-producing structures. Sporangium is having a stalk and a head. Many nucleus moves to the head region. It undergoes meiosis, forming haploid spores. These spores are highly resistant. It can withstand unfavorable condition. On return of favorable condition, these spores germinate, either by forming swamp cells when there is enough moisture, or by forming amoeboid cell in dry condition. These, both these cells, either swamp cells or amoeboid cells, behaves just like gametes. It fuses in pairs, forming the zygote, the diploid cell again. This diploid zygote undergoes continuous mitosis forming the multinucleate plasmodium again, thus completing the life cycle. If you like this video, please subscribe, support and share this video. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.